огромная радость играть с замечательным оркестром Мариинского театра, который действительно реагирует на, ну, буквально на все. Знаете, вот это какое-то редкое и счастливое чувство партнерства, которое всегда Внимание, ощущается. Не первый раз играю этот великий концерт, как иногда его называют, пятый концерт Рахманинова, и вполне резонно. Всегда, всегда, как мне кажется, удается услышать что-то, что как, как, какие-то детали, какие-то слои этой э, удивительной рахманиновской фактуры, которые, может быть, раньше были недооткрыты э, мной. The Prokofiev has, uh, I don't know, it sort of even makes you kind of transform a personality as you walk and have to play it in, in a way because you have to summon stuff that's uh, sort of music that's not human, that's really sort of about hell, about lo lots of pictures and uh, could be demons, these this moments of chase. It's so descriptive and you have to capture all of this and uh, it's done in a way so you naturally will give everything you've got. wonderful hall and um, I think it's one of the best hall in the world, um, the acoustic and also the architect here is really, really nice and beautiful. The Russian audience, they're very passionate about music and very sincere and also um, very serious, I would say. And um, I have played in Russia many times and every time I played here, I was moved by the audience somehow because I could feel their like um, dedication to the music. It's a wonderful city and um, whenever I come here I try to go to Hermitage Museum and tomorrow I have a plan <laughs> to go there um, and I re really, I'm really happy to play here, especially these days, um, like terrible times, you know, um, so many people, they are suffering uh, and I just really, I was really happy that I could share the music with the audiences again. 
in Saint Petersburg, and um, yeah, I, I really enjoy my concert tonight. <laughs>